So this is Steve and I'm here with Kelly Lynch. Uh, Kelly, you know, if people are out and about this morning and this afternoon, they probably heard the steam whistle. Wondered maybe if they were having illusions or something. Tell me what's going on. Well, today was a test run with the steam locomotive number 765 from Fort Wayne to Muncie. Uh, a test run on a machine built in 1944 that's been restored by the Fort Wayne Railroad Historical Society and is kept at our restoration facility in uh, New Haven. And we took the locomotive out today along with one of uh, Norfolk Southern's special heritage units uh, just to make sure that everything is ship shape for our upcoming excursion season, which starts next Friday. And it was a special heritage unit in a lot of different yeah, Norfolk Southern, uh, who is a major local presence and an employer in Fort Wayne, is celebrating their 30th anniversary. They were uh, found, formed in 1982 out of the combination of two other railroads. Uh, and what they've done as part of their celebration this year is they've painted 20 locomotives in heritage schemes. Well, what's a heritage scheme? Um, Back in the day, railroads really loved to paint their equipment in really dynamic colors. Uh, they weren't just black or gray, uh, they were all sorts of colors. Um, and Fort Wayne had a number of different railroads that were all very distinctive and recognizable by their colors alone. Uh, so all of the Fort Wayne railroads are represented uh, by Norfolk Southern's heritage units right now. The steam locomotive number 765 is kind of the ultimate heritage unit and it's our time machine. Uh, it was built in 1944 for the Nickel Plate Road, which was absorbed into Norfolk Southern uh, in later years. And the railroad Norfolk Southern has actually hired us this year to operate a series of employee appreciation specials all throughout their system. And what's great about this opportunity to take this locomotive through six states uh, and to carry thousands of people and to bring the engine to thousands more that have never experienced it before is that it's also the Fort Wayne Railroad Historical Society's 40th year in existence. So we've got a lot of things to celebrate this year. We've got a locomotive that's ready for the road, uh, that's been given probably its most important task in, in decades. Uh, and we're really looking forward to, uh, to taking it out there and, and showcasing it for the public. And today was just a, a day to make sure that everything worked as intended and, and it went swimmingly. And everything culminates with an open house here. Yeah, September 29th and 30th, uh, after we come back from St. Louis, uh, we'll have an open house as we do every year. The locomotive will be fired up. We'll have a variety of our equipment on display. And it's really an opportunity for people to get up close and personal with the locomotive, uh, whereas normally when it's out operating, you can stand at a railroad crossing and watch it go by, but you can't get up and touch it. You can't blow the whistle. You can't, uh, you know, shovel coal into the firebox. Um, so yeah, that'll be September 29th and 30th. Uh, but we've also published our entire excursion schedule on our website at uh, fortwaynerailroad.org. So if people want to chase the locomotive, they want to discover it in their towns or in their backyards, like a lot of people did today, uh, they can do so. And we also have a GPS mobile app that we're going to release next week that'll be able to show people where the engine is at at all times. Anything else you'd like to add? Just that this is a really stellar opportunity to, to showcase this unique part of Fort Wayne. Not many cities can say that they have a steam locomotive and they especially can't say that their steam locomotive operates and can bring 40,000 people to a town in four days. Uh, we're, we're just really looking forward to sharing the locomotive with as many people as possible this year and hopefully in the future being able to share it with its own hometown uh, in, in greater ways too. Kelly, we appreciate your time. Thanks, Stephen. Thank you.